Oh, the joy, the agony, and the torment of trying out something new in Linux that just doesn't quite work out, at least not in the beginning. How about some GNOME Shell? Don't like that? Well, maybe some Unity? No go, huh? Wait, I have something for you. A little bit of cinnamon sprinkled in with a little bit of MGSE. No go, huh? Well, I, I tell you what, I have the perfect solution for all this Linux confusion. How about a nice big bowl of Zorin OS? For this edition of Total OS today, I am going to tell you my pick for the perfect Linux desktop for 2012. Yes, this early in the year. I know it's just February, but I'm confident you are going to like this. This is Zorin OS 5, and I believe this is Zorin OS 5.2. This was released back in November, and you can get more information on the Zorin OS website. I will have a link below in the show notes. This is Zorin OS. This is more customizable than Unity or GNOME Shell. I believe that this is a more complete solution out of the box, especially if you are new to Linux. This is a screenshot of the Zorin OS website, and it says here clear, clearly, the gateway to Linux for Windows users. I couldn't agree more. Now, as a counterpoint for some of you who have tried the other ones and hasn't, it hasn't really quite worked out, it's probably been a gateway to hell. Not so with Zorin OS. I've had good luck with this in the past and right now this is working just about as perfect an operating system that you can get when it comes one that's uh, with one that's uh, Linux based. The coolest thing about Zorn OS is their exclusive look changer. You can make this look like Windows 7, Linux Genome or Linux Gnome or Windows XP. For this demonstration, I have it set to the classic GNOME 2, similar to Ubuntu's, uh, Ubuntu's classic menu before they changed to Unity. If you download one of the previous versions of uh, Zorn, or one of the, the premium versions that is, you can also download, uh, let's see, we have Multimedia, Ultimate, and a few others, you will get three more options here to change the look of your desktop, including making it look like Mac OS. So why is this better? Customization and everything, everything working out of the box to me is the clear winner right now. This feels just right. It's not too light. It's not bloated. It works out of the box. And I've tested this both in 32-bit and 64-bit. Both seem OK. Just a couple of things here. The panels top and bottom. When you right click, you can add software or applets to this and customize it more. and you have your choice of applets here top or bottom you cannot do this yet at least in GNOME Shell or Unity this appears to be about as super stable a Linux based operating system as you can get not so yet I believe not so yet in GNOME Shell or Unity so as far as doing a review of this, I will, I will not do one here. I've done reviews on Zorin OS in the past. If you are looking for more information, take a look at those videos here on the channel or I will post a link, as I said below, in the show notes. But to conclude this, and I'm probably going to have, probably going to set off a World War III of comments when I post this, you know, good and bad, it's okay. Tell me what you guys think. If you have a better one, let me know. And somebody mentioned Ping Guy uh, 11.04. Maybe that is better. I really don't know. I haven't tested that yet. For now, I'm going with what has worked for me in the past, and that is Zorin OS. Now, this is 5. A Zorin OS 6, there's been a delay in the release. 
Not sure what's going on. I really haven't seen or heard of any updates. Yes, my guess is that they like neither Gnome Shell or Unity and they just may come up with something completely new and different. The team from Planet Zorn, if you are listening to this, please let me know. Give me an update. I'm curious and I will be happy to pass it on to everyone out there. Well, that's it, guys. This is my pick for the perfect Linux desktop for 2012. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the guys from Planet Zorn. And as always, I will catch you sometime in the future.